Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the iPhone 16 series. Now you can pick these up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. Let's get right into it. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. White shoes. White shoes. Calm down. Okay. Hear ye, hear ye. Android Warriors. Okay, I'm talking to y'all right now. Samsung Knights, Google Gangsters, Xiaomi Warlords, the OnePlus Pirates, the Oppo Regime, the Honor Society, the Sony Samurais, the People's Republic of Realme and Rebbe. I need all of y'all to stand down and stand by. Okay? It's all about the Apple Mafia right now. Now, all of my Apple Mafia hitmen... I need y'all to prick your fingers and let's repeat the oath. All hail Tim Apple. Thanks for selling us the same phone twice. We really appreciate it. Now, all jokes aside, I'm going to go into this with an open mind, just like I do any other phone. Now, usually I would start off with the specs, but let's keep it real. Most Apple people don't care about specs. And if you don't believe me, go to any one of your friends who has an iPhone and ask them how many milliamps is on the battery. And you know what they're going to say? I don't know. It lasts all day. Ask them what's the battery charging speeds. They're gonna say, I don't know. It lasts all day. And that's the thing about Apple products. You don't really need to know the specs. They just work. Now, if you ask any one of your friends who got an Android phone, how many milliamps is the battery? They're gonna say 5,000. What's the charging speed? 45 watts. 3,000 nits brightness. They know the specs. And it's not because Android people are smarter or more nerdy. It's because there's so many different Android phones in the market, you really gotta know the specs. With iPhones, you really got two choices. You got the big boy and you got the peasant version. All right, but here's one thing that you will wanna know. What's the difference between the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the 16 Pro Max? Let's start there. Okay, we're gonna start off with the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now this one starts at 1200 bucks. What's the difference? Six key differences. Number one, the colors. Now we got a new color. You got the desert sand, all right? Desert sand, titanium. <laughs> you still got white, black, and natural. Next, the display. Now the display actually went up in size. 6.9 inch, super retina, 2000 nits brightness, as opposed to 6.7. Okay, this is 6.7 inches, 6.9 inches. So you got a bigger display. Next, the processor. This is the Apple A17. Now you got the A18 Pro Bionic Supersonic Titanium Uranium Chipset. What does that mean in English? I don't know, but it should be better. Next, the battery, slightly bigger battery. How much bigger? I don't know. How much better? I don't know. We're going to find out. And a funny side note, did y'all watch the Apple event? This proves that Apple people don't care about specs because during the event, they didn't mention nothing about the battery capacity. All they said was bigger battery, right? more battery. How much more? Who knows? Right? Who knows? Who cares? You still got 25 watt fast charging speeds, MagSafe. Next, the biggest difference that you're gonna know is the camera. With the 15 Pro Max, you got 48 megapixels, 12 and 12. Now you got 48, 48 and 12. So you got that big boy 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor. And of course, now you got the new camera button on the side. Other than that, basically the same phone. All right, basically the same phone. And with the Pro, you do got a bigger display. This is 6.1 inches on the 15 Pro Max. I uh, Actually, the uh, 15 Pro. And now with the 16 Pro, you're getting a 6.3 inch display. So bigger display. Now, the 16 Pro, it does come in 128 gigs. So there's a peasant version of Bellville. <laughs> Available. <laughs> All right, so let's get and unbox these and see what it is. Let's start off with the big boy. This is the desert sand color. I don't know why I keep saying desert sand. Let's just say desert, desert titanium. Right. Okay, now on the box, it shows the front of the phone. <laughs> okay. Inside. Now, it, it kind of looks like gold. It kind of looks like gold. I don't know why they call it a desert. This could, it, this could actually be gold. Right. It could be gold. Now, you're going to get your braided cable. This is going to be USB Type-C to USB Type-C. And, of course, you get your usual books and shit. Plug them and file them. And I know what y'all getting ready to say, okay? No more troll stickers. All right, no more troll. Hold, hold up, there's a note in here. There's a little note inside of this card. I'm not going to read it on camera. 
But inside of this note, it says, if you're looking for Apple Troll stickers, go fuck yourself, okay? It's over. No more Troll stickers. Is that a big deal? No. But let's keep it real, man. You just dropped 1200 bucks on the phone, no charge in the box, Samsung, Google, Apple, nothing, Motorola, sometimes Vivo, Sony, fucking Sony. No charge in the box, no stickers, no nothing. I'm guaranteeing y'all next year, iPhone 17 is gonna come wrapped up in a tissue. <laughs> you can blow your nose when you're done. Next up, we got the iPhone 16 Pro. Okay, just the Pro version. Let's go ahead and check this one out. Now, y'all know I like having fun in my videos. I like roasting apples, but at the same time, let's keep it a buck. Samsung presentation is just as garbage. So is G. I ain't gonna say the name so I get shadow banned, but equally as garbage. Okay, equally as garbage. But it is what it is. Now, I went with the black version for this one. Rah. Beautiful. Okay, there's that new button. Let's see. Now, I don't know why they're not calling it a button. Because it does click. It's an actual button. I mean, you know, they, it's Apple, though. Same bullshit inside. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, so now let's take a look real quick. Here's the big boy version. There's that button. Okay, you got your volume rocker. Nice and clean. I'll do a quick size comparison. Let me grab the iPhone. I right, shoes back up. This is the iPhone 15 Pro Max versus the 16 Pro Max. Now, as you can clearly see, it's a little bit bigger giggity and a little bit wider look at that now here's the 16 pro and the 15 pro same thing 16 pro is a little bit bigger now not much but a little bit bigger and a little bit wider so that's how they're gonna look now when it comes to the iphone 16s right the peasant versions <laughs> Now, when I say peasant, y'all know I'm just joking because I'm the supreme peasant. I'm the supreme banana head. What's the difference? All right, what's the difference between the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus and the new 16 and 16 Plus? Well, first of all, the price, okay? The 16 Plus starts at 900 bucks. The 16, 800 bucks. Next, you got some new colors. So you got pink, white, black, teal, and ultramarine. Next, the processor. Now with the 15s, you got the Apple A16. Now you got the A18, not the A18 Pro, just the A18, but it should be pretty good. And you're also getting slightly bigger batteries. How much bigger, I don't know. How much better, I don't know. But slightly bigger batteries, same bullshit 60 hertz refresh rate. Now, <laughs> I know, I know. If you buy the iPhone 16s, these actually have a time machine feature built in. Okay, you have a, you got a, you got a built-in time machine. Take you back to 60 hertz refresh rates. How dope is that? <laughs> That's one of my corny dad jokes. I know when y'all get old, y'all be making the same corny dad jokes too. Okay, so let's see with the 16. Right. Now this color right here, very lively. Okay, and, uh, minimum zest on this one. You got your braided cable, USB Type-C, no stickers. Okay, no reason to even uh, get disappointed again. No stickers. And with the 16 Plus, let's get to check this one out. Okay, now this is a nice little, again, <laughs> nice little um, minimum zest with the colors. I like them. I still wish they would have came out with the old school red, you know, regular gold, regular dark black, shiny. You know, it is what it is, though. Now, with these, you also got the new button, I forgot to mention, with the, um, the the 15s, you got the old school switch. Now you got the actual action button, and you got the camera button, okay? Other than that, these are pretty similar phones. Now let's do a quick size comparison. This is the 15 and the 16. Let's see, same exact height same weight okay you can see that button placement okay old school switch versus the action button and the cameras you know <laughs> one thing about apple they they, they want to make sure that people know that you're last year's peasant you know they, they didn't have to switch the cameras up like this they could have kept the same design so this way you kind of feel the same like with the um the, the pro maxes from the back you can't really tell like look at the pro max from the back you can't tell who's last year's peasant. Okay, you can't tell. 
with the regular versions, they, they make sure, they make sure. Now when you take your photos and you got the diagonal cameras, everybody knows you're a year behind. I don't like that, I don't like that. It is what it is though. Now here's the 16 plus and the 15 plus. Again, different camera placement, same height, same weight. Now you got the camera button. This was like a dummy button right here. Now you got the actual button and the action button. All right, let's take it to the scales of justice. All right, now let me show you something that's gonna blow your mind. Here's the weight of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. That's 233 grams. Here's the 16 Pro Max, 227. So not only is it bigger and wider, it's actually lighter. That's pretty dope. Now here's the iPhone 15 Pro, 199. 16 Pro, 199. Okay, same exact weight. Here's the iPhone 16 Plus. Okay, 200. Here's the iPhone 15 Plus, 200, same weight. And here's the iPhone 15, 171, iPhone 16, 170. So about the same, but the biggest difference is with the iPhone 16 Pro Max. It's actually a lot lighter than the 15 Pro Max. That's pretty dope. All right, so I'm in the process of downloading all my apps and then we can walk through the OS. But in the meantime, let's protect our investment. So the first thing I like to get is a tempered glass screen protector. So this is the Taurus military grade aerospace tempered glass screen protector. Now this one is gonna run you 30 bucks for a pack of two. Now this is nine H on the hardness scale. Ladies. All right, so let's check this one out. Okay, now this one comes with the easy installation kit. This is gonna be your wet wipes, microfiber cleaning cloth, dust removal tape, okay? And it comes with the easy installation guide. Here it is. All right, so let's set this up. All right, so to install this, real simple. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take the wet wipe, we're gonna wipe down the display. Just like that. Next, you're gonna take the dry wipe, and get another wipe down. Now make sure there's no cat hairs or dust or debris. Make sure your phone is nice and clean. Just like that. Next, I'm gonna peel this down. Now it says top. Okay, so we're just gonna put it just like that. Then we're gonna let that sit for a minute. All right, so now that we let it sit for a minute, we're gonna remove the outer layer Gonna peel this off, just like that. And it does come with a little squeegee. So if you got any bubbles, you just squeegee them out. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, once you finish doing the squeegee, you're just gonna take the dry cloth, wipe it down one more time, and check this out. Bubble-free installation. Beautiful, edge-to-edge -edge protection. Zero bubbles. Now the next thing you wanna do is get a case to protect your phone. Now you might be tempted to get the Apple MagSafe clear case for 50 bucks, but don't do that. Okay, don't do that. Let me show you a better case that's actually cheaper and way more functional. We got the Taurus 360 magnetic stand case. Now this one's gonna run you 42 bucks and they have another version that's 45 bucks. And I'm gonna show you both of them. Check this out. Now y'all seen me review this case before. This is the one that I'm using on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. Check this out. Beautiful. On the back, you got an actual stand that rotates, okay? And has a super strong magnet. Now this case has a trick up its sleeve and I'm gonna show you how that works. But first, let's go ahead and slap this on. Look at the amount of resivity on this. So it is Slam Boy certified. You got a cutout for your new camera button. Okay, let's check the regular buttons. Nice juicy presses. All your buttons on this side line up. Cutouts for the camera in the back. And again, stand status. You can rock this like this, like this. 
You can switch it around, multiple angles. And watch this. Let's grab MagSafe charger. Look how strong this magnet is. Okay, you get your animation. Let's try a regular wireless charge. Okay, there's your wireless charge. Now, what makes this case so unique is watch this. Now, here's another one of my favorite features about this case. Check this out. Sticks right to the side of your car. How dope is that? So this way, if you want to do some FaceTime calls, maybe do a vlog, take some selfies, put it right in your car, and rock out just like that. That is pretty sick. All right, check this out. Now, this will also work in your kitchen. So say you want to make some kitchen vlogs, some cooking videos, this will slap right on your refrigerator. FaceTime calls, selfies, whatever you want to do, just like that. This is epic. The thing that I really love about this case is how strong the magnet is on the back. That makes it perfect for your MagSafe car chargers. Slaps on just like that. If I drive around, it's not gonna fall off. Same thing, if I put it on this one, use it for GPS. I love this case. Do it, do it, do it landscape mode, do it landscape mode. Look at that. Landscape mode, landscape mode. This case is so tough, yo. Amai, what you think about this case? It's cool. He need to hurry up and drop the video so I can take it. No, no, the case. I got you, I got you. All right, so you've seen it for yourself. That's why this is one of my favorite cases. And check this out. Now, this is the desert color. But if you want to, you can get the natural titanium color or the black. And you can also get clear. Now, let me show you how this is going to look. This is going to be the titanium color. And then we got black. Now, look how easy these cases pop on and off. Just like that. That ring on the back. Keep it moving. You can actually have your hand on it like this when you're outside working out. But I like to use it like this. Just like this when I'm watching my videos. Then at the end, snap it back. Keep it moving. 42 bucks on this one. Now, let me show you the $45 version. Check this one out. Now, this one has the non-transparent back. Got a little pattern on the back. Let's get and slap this on. Matter of fact, let's do the, the desert color. Look at this. Beautiful color match. Cheaper than the Apple case. And way more functional. There's your stand. Okay. Let's check the magnet on this one. Just as strong. There's your wireless charge. Let's check regular wireless charge. Okay, there's your wireless charge. Buttons, cutouts, buttons, cutouts, everything works. The non-transparent version. Okay, so this one comes in white, sand, and we got a black version. Let's check this one out. So far, I think I like the sand color the best, but the black might be for everyday use. Look at that, beautiful. Same amount of razivity on this one, so it is Slam Boy certified. All right, so check out the Taurus 360 magnetic stand cases. I'll leave the link up in the description. All right, so now let's talk about the elephant in the room, Apple AI. Everybody wants to see Apple AI, but here's the problem. The Apple AI is not available until the iOS 18.1 update. That is complete bullshit. Now, if you dropped 1100 bucks on the Galaxy because you wanted Galaxy AI, guess what? It was ready on day one. With the iPhone 16s, no Apple AI just yet. I don't like that. Unfinished products. Okay, you just dropped 1200 bucks, 13, 1400 bucks, and you can't use the AI yet? That's trash. Nevertheless, I'm going to wait until 18.1 before I do my full review, but in the meantime, Let's take a look at some of the stuff that you do have. Finally, you have the dark apps, okay? Dark mode, let me show you how that looks. You could go to customize. So you go edit, customize. Now you got dark, okay? You got change the tint. You can actually make them large and get rid of the names. Now I'm still uploading all my apps, but let me show you how it looks on one of my other phones. It looks pretty dope. Matter of fact, I got one that looks even better. 
Check this one out. The dark mode. I like that. Okay, finally, you can customize the damn apps. <laughs> finally. Now, we're making a big deal about this, but I hate to keep bringing up Android phones, but this is something that we've been doing on Android phones for years. But finally, we could do it on the Apple phones. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that with the colorful widgets. And you can actually change your widgets around now. You see, like, you can actually make these bigger or smaller. Let's, um, let's go ahead and... Uh, Check this out. Let's see. We go to add. Watch this. Now I can make this smaller. Okay. Or bigger. A bunch of, you know, a bunch of little minimum upgrades. You can put widgets all over the screen now. Again, when I do the full review, I'll touch on all of that stuff. In the meantime, let's check out this new camera button. Okay. So you press the button once. That'll take you to the camera. Press it again. That'll take a photo. Press it and hold and you can do video. Now the dope thing about that is, it's kind of like your world star hip hop button that we had on Android phones. If the phone is off and you want to clandestinely take a photo, bang, just like that. Without having to go through, I mean, usually I would just clandestinely go like that, hold the button and take my photo. But now you have the actual button. Now let's see, this button is actually touch sensitive. You see, if I hold down on it, I can use it as a scroll. Okay, now we're going to have to get used to that. It feels very responsive. I can see it coming in handy. Let me see. Let me see if all my scumbag activities. I can actually see having my phone out like this in my hand and just pressing one button. And I know the camera's on and take the photos. Now we're going to have to turn this on silent mode, though, <laughs> in order to get the our real scumbag actions. Now, I like to have, you see, I already set mine up, <laughs> my action button for the camera. So now I can use my action button for something else. Best face unlocking the game. As much as I be talking shit about Apple products, best face unlocking the game. And now the display, less bezels. Let me just take a look real quick. Yeah, yeah, less bezels. Let me uh, turn this one on. Less bezels. Matter of fact, I know, I know, y'all. I'm all over the place in this one. It's because I'm setting up all of these phones. Let's see. Yeah, bigger display with less bezels. Look at the bezels. The bezels actually went down. <laughs> I, I love that you could do the, the touch and pay now. I'm gonna have to do a whole separate video on all of the new iOS 18 features, but the ones that I've been using the most, let me show you. This is the one that I've been using the most. Watch this. If I wanna open up photos, hold up, hold up. Where's my other phone at? Let me see, Did, oh, okay, I didn't set it up on this one. But you can have it set up with face unlock to open up photos. Now, I don't want to open up my photos right now. But you can have it face unlock to open up your photos or face unlock to open up individual apps. Not just the phone. Face unlock to open up individual apps. So if your phone is already open and somebody goes to your cash app, you need to have a separate face unlock. That's pretty dope. So there's a bunch of iOS 18 features. I use the uh, accessibility one that you can control the phone with your eyeballs. That one is a little bit gimmicky, a little bit hard to set up, a little bit hard to use, but I can see that coming in handy. I could definitely see that coming in handy. But fresh out of the box, though, fresh out of the box, I do like it. I, I do like it since it's a bigger phone. We got to test out the battery and see if the battery is actually going to be bigger, but you already know. iPhones have one of the best batteries in the game. Look, y'all know, some people say I'm a I'm an Android fanboy. I'm always hating on Apple products. I call it like I see it. I give respect where respect is due, and respect is due to the Apple batteries. Okay, the batteries on iPhones are ridiculous. Face unlock is ridiculous. iPhones are super smooth, no lag. Probably some of the best speakers in the game. Video camera is gonna be amazing. I mean, I do love iPhones. I just like Android phones a little bit better because they're more customizable. We got more options and more features. Still, one more thing I wanted to mention. <laughs> When y'all was watching the Apple event, who thought this was a fingerprint sensor? Now, I don't know if it was if it was just me, but when I did the Siri, let's see, does this have the rainbow? No, I don't got the rainbow effect yet. All right. Well, maybe that's going to come with the AI. Who knows? Well, I, you see everybody with the rainbow. Maybe I got to set that up in the settings. But during the event, when he pressed the button and it went to that rainbow effect, I thought it was a fingerprint sensor. I got hype. Still no fingerprint sensor. This would have been dope. Put that If you had a built-in fingerprint sensor, that would have been kind of fire, but it is what it is. Anyway, let me not ramble on all day. This is just a quick unboxing. Y'all know, one of the things that I love about iPhones, accessories. 
accessories, 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 cases. Okay, we got a bunch of cases coming. You know, we got Spigen, Mouse, ESR, uh, what else? Tech 21, Caseology. We got everything. We got all the cases coming up, all of the accessories. But again, I'm going to wait until iOS 18.1 before I do my full review because we want to do the Galaxy AI versus the Apple AI and see who has more AI. <laughs> anyway, this is just an unboxing. Okay, let's see. Let me show you how they look one more time. Here's the 16, 16 plus. 16 Pro, 16 Pro Max. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Okay, so before I get out of here, let me give a big shout out to my newest subscriber, Brian from the Apple Store. I appreciate you taking care of me today. And remember what we talked about. It's never too late to get started. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture the road. It's your boy Floss on Mount. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock, one to beam up. Hey guys, Jerry Springer here. Uh, subscribe to Flossy Carter for the real reviews. Uh, he has a tech channel on YouTube and he already has over 2 million subscribers. So uh, give him a look. Uh, you may like it and it could be very useful. Take care of yourself and each other.